Hey everybody, it's Pam with Silver and Sparkles, and I have a project for us today to make some really fun little Christmas tree gift tags or ornaments or whatever you want to call these. So obviously I have some in different sizes and I'm going to show you how I made them. This one I put some plain neutral cardstock on the back. You know, you can write to from on there. This one, you can see the layers, but it was made from printable. Actually, this is from one of the pages from my Santa and Friends kit, if you happen to have that kit. This is book page. And certainly if we wanted to put something on the back neutral to write on, we could, but I think it's pretty with the book page and would hang nicely on a gift along with a pretty bow, you know, a decoration. This one is using, um, it's a Jingle Bells, uh, I don't even know where I downloaded it from, but little card, looks like this. And I did two of the triangles out of that and then one out of book page, so that's fun. They all have little chunks, this is all book page. I did use my white paint pen, on most of these to add, I don't even know if you can tell in the video, but to add little dots of snow, you might be able to tell on this tree. So anyway, these can be made with anything. You could use up scraps, you could use a book page, scrapbook paper, digitals, whatever, whatever you want. So I'm gonna show you how I make these. They're really easy, but I did find that if I made myself a template, for my triangle, they they turn out better. It's optional, you can just cut your paper if you want to and they can all be a little different. But depending on how big your triangle is, this, this is this great big one. So I have three triangles of this size to make this tree. And then when I used the smaller one, I got ones this size, right? And I kind of like the smaller ones. Of course, this would look really good on a big package. And then this one was kind of in between. So it's also the shape of your triangle too and whatever you like. So again, making a template is optional, but I'm gonna show you how I did mine. I made three different ones, but I'll show you really quick how I, how I cut out my triangle and then we'll make a couple together using some different papers that I have out. So start with, and again, just you can kind of think about how big do you want your tr in your tag to end up being. I'm using a piece of chipboard, and I'm going to get mine to be a width of two and three quarters. Let's just, let's just make a decision. And this is three and a half inches tall. So again, make yours any size you want. But if you can then find the halfway point and make a mark, and of course I made this hard on myself with math, but this is, you know what, this is seven centimeters, so I know half of seven is three and a half. So there we go. And I made the mark of what is the center, and then from that center point, I'm just going to draw a line down to this corner Again, we're just making a really quick triangle. There we go. And then I'm going to cut it out. And then this is nice and thick to help me with the variety of papers that I have to either draw the lines or hold it and cut it. So, there we go. And again, it's a little bit different shape. That one was a little bit wider and shorter, right? Tinier, it's kind of in between. It's in between about this one and this one, I would say. All right, but you're gonna want three, we'll make one with the new template. We're gonna, you're gonna need three triangles of whatever paper you're gonna use of, of the same triangle. I also, really quick, I did make myself a template for the trunk just because I found it easier. It's right at one inch and it's one by three just to make it easy to hold on to. But many of these, I just cut whatever size my paper was after I got the width down. Okay, so 
again, some of these I used the same book page or the same paper over three times. Some I mixed it up. This one, I actually used the image of the digital to help me come up with um, that, that tree image. So I do have, let, let's make one first. Let's just make one out of, because I haven't done this yet, out of a piece of scrapbook paper. And I think this will be fun. And I think it'll be easier for me and for you guys to see if I turn it over. And I'm also going to show you something I realized as I was playing with this earlier. So if I draw the first triangle that I need to cut out, and it does help if you, you know, are neat with your lines, I can do three three triangles like this. So do the first one and then line it up with that line upside down. And get the second triangle. And then the third one will fit right here. And this will help you maximize your paper. Now with the book page, what I did, you can see some of my book pages. I just did three layers or however the really thin book page actually glued together but let's see I've got one two so I need three and this is four of course and I love the plain book page to use to write my quotes and different things on the way what I did with this one is let me just get out one of these triangles is I just honestly I just held it on here like this you can draw the triangle or you can hold your template. And I just went like this and cut all the layers at the same time. Ta-da. So that one, of course, really easy and quick. And if I know I wanna make several with the same paper, I could have folded this page in half even and cut through six layers because it's nice and thin. It's not hard for me to cut. So lots of different ways. I could have with this scrapbook paper cut three, three kind of rectangle shapes, traced my triangle and cut them all together. But with this paper, I was a little invested in maximizing my paper. So, I am being a little more careful, if that makes sense. So, I can have more of this paper. All right, now I have three triangles. So, I hope this one turns out nice. I think it will. And again, if we wanted to, let's see, it's going to look cute. And again, we can add ribbon. We can add washi tape like I did here. We can get out um, other decoration stickers, whatever, and really make these cute. You could add some lace. That would be pretty. This might look cute. I know this is the wrong shape, but adding a layer of book page in there. So let's cut a book page piece out of here and see what that looks like. So I'm going to do the book page in this direction and I want it to be the same size triangle and I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do all three layers since I had those. Again, I think this would be just a great scrap buster. Obviously you have to find pages and papers uh, the size of your triangles, but I think it looks really, really cool. There we go. Yeah, I kind of like it with one of those in there. What do you guys think? And I haven't really, this, this one here where I layered a whole bunch of ribbon on, it's still just the three triangles, but then on this last one I did four layers of ribbon. I haven't really looked at what would it look like if I did more than three triangles? I guess you could do that too, right? You could just keep going. There's so many possibilities. I'm going to stay for simplicity's sake, and we're going to use three triangles. I actually got out my green ink. This is the only one I could find that I have of green. It's called Peeled Paint. Not sure it's the right color green 
for this paper. So I'm gonna go back to my walnut stain and just add some brown to it. Oops. And this book page is a little thin. I think it'll be okay layered with the cardstock. On one of mine, and I'll show you the back that I made out of book page, I was a little worried where the eyelet goes. Which one is it? La, 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 the last one I pick up always. Nope, not that one. Hmm. Oh, it was this one, the big one. So this book page was pretty sturdy that I used. Not too worried about it, but the eyelet I really wanted to make sure wasn't going to tear through. So I added two little layers up here just at the tip of my tree before I set the eyelet. And I felt a little more confident that that was going to hold together better. But the way I'm layering this tree, it's going to be the scrapbook paper. So I think it's okay. If you're not sure, glue to of the pages together. In fact, you know what? Maybe I should. <laughs> I'm not being very decisive today. I am. It's Friday when I'm filming this. Not sure when it'll go up. It may go up tomorrow. It may go up next week. And it's Friday and I've got a lot on my mind. Um, just we've got a bunch of things happening this weekend and then next weekend if she can make it my cousin is coming for a visit and she's going to go with me um, as a participant she wants to take the gratitude journaling workshop that I'm doing so but she'll be in town for the weekend and that's exciting so I've got to kind of get ready for her and clean the house you know all those things you do I don't have to do too much though. She's family. Let's see what else. Um, our daughter is back at school. Fall break is over. So there, that's got a little more stability to it. So anyway, just a lot on my mind and a lot to do, but I wanted to have some fun in my craft room before I started doing laundry and all of the things. All right, so now just kind of look at it and decide which one you want on top, which one you want wherever. I like leaving approximately half an inch to three quarters of an inch. I just kind of eyeball it. So this is the bottom layer, and I add glue. Like I said, I come up that portion. It's probably a little more than half an inch. And then I just lay the next triangle down. So I know that it is stuck well. I just didn't do mine very even. And with the way the, the plaid and the paper cut, this is the, it's obviously layered correctly, but it looks crooked because of that plaid, but that's okay. We're not gonna worry about it. Same thing, I'm gonna eyeball the glue about I don't know, not quite three quarters of an inch. And this little is gonna be like a Charlie Brown tree. Of course, on the back, it looks like I've layered everything correctly, but on the front, it looks a little crooked. But that's all right. Now, again, I haven't added any extra stripes or ribbons or, or little washies. This is just a little piece. I used it on one earlier and I was just thinking it might be pretty to add a little bit of this red and green Christmas plaid. So again, I'm gonna just eyeball where I want it, lay down just a touch of glue, glue it down and then it's so easy to trim these right along your triangle. Yeah, that looks fun and festive. And let me show you again, and I have these in my Amazon storefront if you're interested or if you're interested in any of the supplies. Um, I use this one a lot. I don't paint a lot, but when I use acrylics and paint, this particular <clears throat> white paint pen, I find when I wanna add little highlights, it works on paper, but it also works on top of the paint, which is nice. Get a little bit, a few little dots in there to look like some snow. Just randomly dotting it. 
I sometimes am a little obsessive and I will say I'm randomly dotting, but then I'll do it in a pattern like I'm doing right here. <laughs> I think in the end, it all ends up looking about the same. Depends on the mood I'm in when I'm laying dots down. All right, so now that I have done those two green layers, I'm feeling the need to do this big, huge section. So feel free to fast forward while I am laying these down. And then we are going to add an eyelet and add some kind of ribbon or twine. And this one's going to be done. And I think it is cute with the scrapbook paper. So there's an option for you. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. My voice is doing something really funny. So I have my, what I call my ancient eyelets. I have several of these organizers and they're old and they've been around a long time. I'm going to pick a, like a burgundy red one. I think that will look cute. And I'm going to use my crop up dial that's not working as a hole punch because the hole punch part is working. And we're going to use then this again. Whoa, hopefully we won't lose it. Very old silent setter. Since my crop dial is broken one day, maybe I'll ask for a new one for Christmas. I just feel like it's such a ridiculous thing for me to spend money on when I have other options. But it is annoying and I don't know what I did to it. But this is, I'm getting, as I'm getting older, isn't the best option either because it feels like I just have to exert quite a bit of strength to make it set, but it sets so pretty. So I keep going. I found another really old eyelet setter that I have from back in my scrapbook days that has the little hammer, so it's not quiet. And so maybe I'll get it out. That might be, that might be my solution. All right. I think some little dangles or some little things like that would be cute too. Earlier, I don't even remember why, but I was, I cut a piece of this gingham ribbon right here. I think it's cute that size, but I cut it in half for something and I have a piece here. So it's fraying a little bit, but I think it's kind of cute like that. Let's see what a little gingham ribbon bow will look like at the top. That's cute, but you know what? This is thin enough now that I've cut it in half. Maybe it will look cute through the eyelet. It was since I'm using the tiny eyelets, and the ribbon was a little bit thick. I haven't attempted to um, thread it through like this to loop it. Let's see. Let's see how it is fraying some, but I don't think it's gonna be a problem. Oh, that's kind of cute. So one option is to leave this super long and then there's options when I go to use it if I want to take it out and tie it on to something or I can trim it down. I think I'm going to leave it long for now and I will probably take my fray check and it may be okay now that it's, uh, it's going everywhere. Now that it is, um, oh goodness, looped on here, it may stop fraying, but that, that'll dry clear and we won't have to worry about it. Okay, I think it's cute, but because it is quite wet now for me globbing on fray check, <laughs> um, I'm going to set it like this and let the, so I'm sure the ribbon part is off camera, but let that dry a little bit. Okay, so that was one made out of scrapbook paper. Let's make one again. This is, I, I was thinking how cute and pretty the music paper would be. Like I said, I ended up, and that's when I made this one using the digital, but then the tree caught my eye. It had, it's the one that has the tree right here. So let's make one though, just out of the music portion of this paper. 
going to go back to this, this triangle. I think this has been kind of my favorite shape. And I am going to take my pencil. I think this is going to fit in here with no problem. If I use my little trick I showed you guys with the scrap of paper, if we turn our triangle both ways. Okay, another thing I have to do today, I'll tell you guys, because maybe if I say it out loud, I will make sure. I, my, my dear, dear friend, I've told you guys about her. She lost her parents this summer. Her kitty cat died this week. Oh gosh, she's having such a hard time. And we talked the other day and I've texted her, but I haven't talked to her. It was the day, the day after sweet poppy died. And so I need to call her and have a nice long chat and check on her. She has, she still has her mom's cat. Um, and then that she ended up, she lives out in the country and there was a feral cat <laughs> who she's now gotten fixed. She's taken her in and gotten her um, spayed, but had kittens. And so she was able to get all but two of them. And I think she wanted the two. <laughs> little bit of a, of a cat lady and that's okay um she kept two of the kittens so even though poppy passed away which is very sad she does have some other kittens or cats a cat and kittens but you know it's so hard we get so attached to to our sweet pets and so I've been worried about her. So if you guys have ever lost a pet, know what that feels like, you can join me in praying for her and sending her some well wishes. That's really hard. Okay, so, and I can hear my puppet dogs. I think they're out in the yard barking at the neighbor kids, <laughs> wanting to play maybe. Um, it was happy barking, it wasn't bad barking. Um. If you happen to have this kit or you have some sheet music or you have other paper that has music on it, I just think that's a, a really pretty, um, it make, makes a pretty ornament or gift tag. My opinion, I think it looks cute. So let's see. So again, we're just going to layer the triangles. Now, I will show you how I attached ribbon or washi tape. It's, it's all the same if it's ribbon. Um, I was using my two-sided tape, whatever thickness that you need. The washi tape, of course, I was able to just stick down. And this one, I just added a little more ink along those edges. And I think that made that one look good. So again, you're, the, the possibilities just are endless. So have fun. Have fun making these look cute. Oh, that one. How about this one? It has little trees and a little piece of greenery and a heart and I think it's gonna look precious. I need my tape that's a little bit thinner though, I think. So before I glue, before I glue these together, I am going to add a little piece of ribbon to each layer and because the triangles are the same size, I can cut the ribbon about the same size. I'm going to trim the ribbon off. So this is just to get it easy to work with. Get that out of my way. Oh, you know what I realized? I was sitting here looking at this and going, it kind of looks strange. I didn't put a tree trunk on it. <laughs> funny, funny. Okay, I have this brown. Oh, that looks good. Brown piece of scrapbook paper, and it's already cut to an inch. So again, I'm going to just snip a piece off. Let's put the trunk on and then we'll finish that one. Sorry, I'm jumping around on you guys today. I hope I'm not confusing you. But it did look kind of strange. So this is just a one inch, and I think this one ended up being like one by two. And you can have the trunk come up the back as much as you want. <laughs> Maybe it's one and a quarter. There you go. Doesn't it look better? And that uh, fray is almost dry now. So there we go. All right, that one looks better. It doesn't look so strange. We can go back to my little ribbon here. So all I do on these is again, kind of decide 
I'm gonna come up just a little bit where I want the ribbon to be. And again, I'm just using some two-sided tape here. You could use Fabrifix glue if you wanted to. I've got mine in my dispenser bottle that does a good job gluing fabric to paper or paper to paper. See, I just stick it down and then trim these off. I will say, because I'm on camera, because I am on camera, it definitely makes more sense for me to use the two-sided tape. But if I was really making a bunch of these, I would most likely just use my Fabrifix glue. So I'm gonna do the same thing for the other two layers. And then we will glue this one together. And again, it's so fun because depending on the paper, depending on the embellishments you choose, these can really, I think they, they really look great. I, a couple of years ago, made some, and I just made them all out of book page, same book page, brown ink, just super neutral, twine, and they looked so pretty on my Christmas packages. I had kind of a vintagey green and red and kind of goldy papers. Anyway, Christmas wrapping papers that year. And I think they looked so pretty. So again, you, you don't have to over embellish these. You know, if you really want to just make some for your packages, depending, you know, if you know what kind of wrapping paper you're using. And, and some people don't even care if things coordinate, right? But if you wanted to coordinate, then you could pick the paper to make the trees out of that would look good with that. So fun. All right, let's decide how we like these. I think I'm gonna put this one that has a little bit of the music there on that layer. Yeah, cute. And if I want to, we could put another one kind of like I did on that other with the ribbon, but I think I'm just gonna leave it. So again, eyeballing where I want the first layer to go. Down to there. And if you decide to make some of these, let me know. I would love to see what you make. Tag me if you're on social media so I can see your, your creativity. Um, if you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. All of those things really help uh, help my channel and, and help my small business. So thank you guys. Oh, how cute. So again, um, and you know, depending on the thickness of your paper and what you're doing, you can choose to do an eyelet. Don't do an eyelet. You could do one of those cute little hole reinforcers that would look cute on here. I'm going to do this one without an eyelet so we can see what it looks like. And I'm going to use the twine and just tie and I have been going a little longer than I maybe normally would with these because I'm just not sure later if I'm going to want to untie that and tie it on a package or something so that looks just fine if you don't have eyelets or a way to set them how cute again we can add more you can add less, we can add a, a, a little bow. Most of mine, I've done some kind of bow on there. Let's see what it'll look like with a bow with the same with the same twine. Oh, and I used Baker's twine on one, the red and white Baker's twine. I think that was cute. Ah. And they, they come together really easy. So we could put the bow there. You could put the bow at the top, kind of like I have been. Let's put it down here just to be different. I'm just gonna do a blob of my glue. That's my PVA uh, Line Co. brand glue. If you're new to my channel, that's kind of my go-to glue for most projects. I also love art glitter glue and use it a lot as well. All right, that's gonna dry, and I think that's cute. All right, so here are the two. Oh, it needs a trunk. I keep forgetting the trunk. Um, I still have that little brown piece of paper. I also have one that has kind of, it's not really the right color, burgundy and gold, 
that I used. Let's see, where did that piece of paper fly off to? Here it is. Yeah, it's kind of going with everything. And this is where you could also use just a craft card stock for the trunks. Again, there's no right or wrong. You could do a trunk like using, um, I think one of these, I put some washi tape around it. This one, like a brown washi tape. That's where I use the burgundy. I think using one of the plaid papers would be kind of fun to make it look like your uh, Christmas tree skirt is already on there. So don't feel like you have to make yours all neutral if you want to use other papers. Very cute, very cute. All right, so those are the two we made together. I think I'm gonna, once I turn the camera off, I'm gonna make myself some more of these because they are making me very happy today. So I hope you guys are also enjoying this and in the mood to make some. Uh, thank you for watching, and until next time, I hope you guys have a great day.